Hello and welcome to this maths lesson on solving equations. So there are 38 questions all together here and all the questions are very different to each other. Let's have a look at this first example here. So the question says four open brackets a minus three close brackets equals 22. So what we can do is we can open up the brackets first. So four times a is four a minus four times three is 12, then equals to 22, okay? So four times what number? So A, we need to find what A stands for, remember? So four times what number? Minus 12 equals 22. So four times what number? Uh, minus 12 equals 22. So if you were to do four times three is 12, then 12 take away 12 will not give us 22. So let's try and find out a different type of number. So let's go for four times 10 is 40. So 40 take away 12 will also not quite, will it give us? No, it won't give us uh, 22. Let's try four times nine. So four times nine is 36. So if we did 36 take away 12, that will give us 24. So not quite. Uh, let's go for four times eight is 32. So 32 take away 12 will give us 20. So not quite right. That means that this particular number here, the answer is going to be a decimal. So four times what number minus 12 equals 22. And which particular equation here in that case do you think will give us the correct answer moving forwards? So what you can do is uh, by using a calculator, you can work out whether 17 divided by two is going to give you the appropriate answer. 15 divided by four, 17 divided by three, or 16 divided by four will give you the answer 22. And even if the answer is 22.4, let's say for example sake, then it's still 22 and 22 will be the correct answer. So you need to determine what A in this case will stand for. So as we've done it manually, we can see that it's not gonna be a whole number, has to be a decimal number. So that's one of the reasons why you have these options here to actually help you and guide you to see how this can be done in the best way possible. Okay, so good luck with these questions.